Hi everyone, Zeke here. I have a special surprise for you for today. I have purchased my Hero Academia collectible card game. Um, it brings the Midoriya deck and Bakugo. And a how to play guide. And I will explain a little bit about it. I told you about Universal Fighting System before, but this time it's My Hero Academia. This is actually quite different. The two the two heroes you get of course is Midoriya and Bakugo. You can play aggressively with them. I'll get, I'll show you the layout for them. Is Izuki Midoriya. All cards have a difficulty. That just means how much it takes to place it and they have a check that's how much you can you have to play the difficulty if you see on both cards they have a hand size and a vitality underneath which is their hit points um in the Midoriya deck, there are a few cards that have a response, which just means they're, it's a card that activates when the condition is met. You can gain life, but you cannot go past your max vitality. Now their enhance abilities and these here on the side are their attributes when you're making a deck you have to have two or at least one one of the same in it you can see the attributes on the Midoriya and Bakugo decks are different so you can make different kinds of decks for them. Okay. The Midoriya deck, I mean Midoriya um, hero has two abilities. You name an attack zone, high, mid, or low. We'll get to that later. But the ability says if your rival's next attack this turn matches that zone it gets minus three speed and we'll talk about that later he has a secondary ability down here once per turn you discard your hand your punch attack gets plus 10 damage now punch is a typing of attack Bakugo has two abilities as well. Response. After your blocked fury attack. Fury is a type of attack. Okay? But we'll get back to that later. Your blocked fury attack resolves. Discard it from your card pool. The second ability is destroy one foundation. Your attack gets two, plus two damage. Okay, we're going to talk about the Midoriya deck first. Now, this is an attack card. It says punch. That means the attack is a punch. It says enhance this card one momentum. This attack gets 
plus 5 speed only playable if this attack's damage is 10 or greater. The reason it's 10 or greater is because you can use your ability that Midoriya has. <clears throat> discard your hand. You remember, you can use it once per turn. You discard your hand. And then you can activate the ability by discarding one momentum. A momentum is when you take a attack card, the attack cards that you played in the um the card pool and a a momentum is a card from the card pool of attacks. That's where you place all your cards that you're going to use. So that's pretty much it for for momentum. Now, attack cards have an attack power, a speed. The arrow represents if it's a high, mid, or low. High and mid attacks can block high and mid. Mid and low attacks can block low and mid. But a high attack cannot block a mid attack. Also, you notice this shield? That represents that it is this, uh, this heart, rep this cross represents it's a high attack. So you're going to block either a high attack with it, adding, for example, if the attack is 5 and you're able to block it for 3, that makes it an 8. Well, that would go to foundations, but... We'll talk about foundations and how you can use them to help you to use against your enemy. Now, in this game, here's another attack. Punch and throw, it says. Usually in the bottom, it will tell you what the card does, the ability of that card. The throw. It says throw. If this attack is completely blocked, it deals half damage. And his ability and he has an enhanced ability. If this attack deals five or more damage, draw one card. That brings us to foundations. This one. Now, you place it like an attack, but it doesn't go into the found, um, it doesn't go to the staging area. I mean, it goes to the staging area, which I will explain after foundations. I will talk about the areas of a play map. Okay. It says enhance. Flip. Your punch attack gets plus two speed. Flip just means you flip it over and you can't use its abilities anymore. But you can still, well, Commit it, it's called. If you play Magic the Gathering, it's called Tapping. But in this game, it's called Commit. Now, some cards have special abilities that can only be used for, for, for specific... Uh, well, specific... Conditions. Let's talk about 
Determined Victory Smash. It's a, it's a punch attack. Um, just about every attack in the Midoriya deck is a punch attack. Add this card to your hand. After it resolves, only play a bow. If this attack's damage is 15 or greater. So, you could put it back in your hand. But, you have to... Get rid of the cards in your hand and use your ability, your Midoriya ability. Also, take note, there are more than one Midoriya or Bakugo. There's more than one version of a hero or a villain because they got villains there too. When you're get prepping for an attack or prepping for a defense, that's when you enhance. This card has a flash ability. Skip this attack's enhance step. So this is like one of your stronger cards because it deals six damage. Yeah. Back to mom back to momentums. You could this this card says this card one momentum. You punch attack, your punch attack gets plus three damage. The momentum card, I might have said this already, is a attack card that you already used successfully and is placed upside, um, flipped face down under your hero. Self-sacrifice. Enhance. Destroy one foundation. You can use it for, for offense and defense. It says this attack gets plus one or pl minus one damage. So plus one from when you're attacking. And minus one for when you're using it against your opponent. Last thing. Passing the torch. He can, when you commit him, when you commit passing the torch, you draw one card. Or if you have no cards in your hand, you draw two cards. So he is good to use if you've used the Midoriya's plus 10 ability. Now, I will show you what there is in the field. With visual aid. Character. Momentum. Card pool. You see there's six spots. But you're not limited to six. You can play as many as you can. And then this is the staging area. The staging area is where you keep your foundations. If you've played Magic the Gathering, think of foundations as um lands, but they have abilities. Now, for the Bakugo deck. He uses Fury Attacks. A response. This is a condition. This is, he uses responses. His responses commit. After your fury attack is blocked, draw one card. So if you so if you want to get a second chance and seeing if you can attack again, having cards that can let you draw are good. Blast rush turn turbo. 
You can discard one momentum. This attack gets plus one damage for each fury attack in your discard pile. So say I had like five fury attacks. It does plus five. Burst speed. It's actually called, it's a Bakugo response. After this card enters your discard pile, during your attack's enhanced step, your rival loses two health. This effect cannot reduce your rival below one health. So this is good to use with his ability, Bakugo's ability. Because you do two damage, you add two to it to his attack, and you do a massive attack. Now a few a few things you might have not known. When I got the the box. These two cards were in the deck. And I didn't know. And they were extra cards. I don't know if it was an accident in in packaging when the when the game came uh when the um they boxed up the cards in the box. Or what? Or if it's a promo card that you get you got the eraser head card, binding cloth capture, and relentless barrage for the um I can't remember what this guy's name is. I can't I can't use them in decks right now. Okay. If I tell you the truth. There is one thing. <clears throat> Going back to the defense. <clears throat> you add the defense to the speed, and that's how much you have to bulk. You have to get to block the um for the check. I've noticed every single card has a shield in in the Universal Fighting System game. Some cards would have blocking and some cards would not have blocking. Okay. Let me see. There were a couple things I wanted to talk about besides that. Like I was saying before. Since there's six here, you can play up to seven, eight, nine, as many cards as you can play. That's why there's cards for drawing. Your staging area, same thing. This card pile, that reminds me. When you run out of a deck, is that true? Let me make sure if it's true. Uh, I don't remember where it's at, but what I wanted to tell you was, it said when you basically run out of a deck, you shuffle it, and then take the top 10, and take and discard it from the game. You might know this as different things in other games. Um, 
Yu-Gi-Oh! Banished. Um, Magic the Gathering. Um, I can't remember, honestly, from the top of my head for each game. But yeah, you take 10 cards off. And then when you don't have space... Then... When you have no, no more cards, you lose that way too. After you run off the 10 cards over and over again. Okay, guys. That's really what I wanted to talk about. Um, I will be posting this on My Hero Academia um, playlist. I will probably be po posting, not too often, but you, if you're interested in this, uh, check every now and then. Okay, guys. I hope I informed you of the game correctly. So, if you want to buy the game, try the two-player rival box. I recommend if you have a friend, you each try one deck and then swap decks. That way you get to learn how to play with different perspectives. Okay guys, subscribe, like, comment. Uh, for this video especially comment because I want to see if there's anything else that you wanted. If there is anything... Wait. You know what? I remember. When you're playing with Bakugo, when you're using his second ability, since it doesn't say commit, you can keep using it for each um, attack you do. That's it now. Okay, for real. Bye, guys.